Welcome to Daily Armor. Our verse today will be found in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 18, and we'll be looking at verse number 6. Jeremiah 18 and verse number 6, and it says, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. If we look at the beginning of this, at the beginning of the chapter, um, the Lord told Jeremiah to go to the potter's house, and he said that you will, um, you will hear from me at the potter's house. And he was, the Lord was going to be using the example of the potter and watching the potter throw his clay and, and work with that clay as an example of how he is with us. Um, if we look at verse number one, it says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheel. So the potter was working at the wheel when Jeremiah got there. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hands of the potter. So the, 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 the potter had his hands all marred up. They were, who had clay every, all over his hands. It was, it was all mixed in. Um, between the the potter and the clay he had his hands so on the clay um, and it says that it was marred in the hands of the potter so he made it again another vessel so it, it was it was getting out of whack and so he re, he was reshaping it and reworking it and he was being patient with this clay and made it again another vessel as seemeth as, as seemed good to the potter to make it the potter had the control um, the potter decided what it was going to be when he sat down at the wheel. And then when it kind of got out of shape and out of whack and then he starts it again, he still, it's still in the, the, the clay is in the potter's hand and the potter is deciding what to do with it and what's going to become of it and how it's going to be used. Um, and we look at the verse number five, it says, Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, verse number six, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? saith the Lord, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. So when we think about that we are in, uh, in the potter's hand, that the potter is deciding what the vessel is going to be. God gets to decide what we're going to be, what he's going to choose to do with us. He gets to decide all that. It's his decision because he's the potter. He's, the cre he's our creator. He created us. And so it's his decision. I just feel so grateful that um, as I was praying this morning, this is when this kind of these verses started coming to me, is when I was praying this morning and, and um, I was thinking about how that um, like yesterday, I was having kind of a kind of a rough day and definitely felt out of center. And as you know, whenever the the clay is on the wheel and the wheel is spinning, that potter has his hands firmly on the clay. And the clay, when it kind of wants to get out of whack, the potter has to take his hand and and anchor that clay. So he's got his hand here and he's got his hand up here, and he's working that clay. He's, he's holding that clay together because that clay wants to get, gets off center, wants to get out of whack. And the potter is in control of keeping, of keeping that, that clay centered. And that just overwhelmed me this morning when I was praying. It brought me to tears as I was praying. And I thought, Lord, I kind of got out of whack. I was trying to get out of center. And you gently took your hand and, and firmly brought me back to center. Give me an anchor. He's my anchor. He's your anchor. He anchored me with his hand. So we have to have, a, as with that potter, they would have to have that firm hand there to let the, 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 and the, and the clay is kind of going a little bit everywhere. And then all of a sudden the clay gets in tune with the potter's hand, not the other way around. So many times we think the Lord's got to get um, get on our page. We're trying to get him lined up with us. And the whole time, we are to be lined up with him. So his hand's not moving. He's not changing. He's, his hand is going to be firmly on that potter's wheel. And we're the ones that are kind of getting a little bit wobbly and a little bit out of, out of center. And then when he gives us that firm hand and then he applies the pressure and he's letting the clay kind of do its thing. And then, then pretty soon the clay gets right back to center. 
and things go around and around very smoothly and the potter is able to work that clay and to make it into something wonderful and beautiful and useful. Um, so just think about that if you're feeling kind of like I was yesterday. I was I felt very out of out of center. I felt very off. Um, but as I went through my day and this, the Lord guides and directs and corrects and all that He does, I felt that that constant firm hand holding me together and and let He let me get back to center um, because He was in control. His hands. Um, are in control of our lives and I'm so thankful for that that um, even when I kind of get a little bit sideways that he knows how to bring me right back and center me right back up and he's still molding and shaping and making me and he's so patient um, with us and I'm so thankful for the Lord and I thank you for sharing with me today and I look forward to seeing you again soon.